gonna set the main sail because we are going to another spot. do Prumirim. Prumirim, I guess it's a word in Tupi language that is the, the indigenous language. Uh, so we are going upwind and as a metal boat is important one thing, never have power in the sails. Sometimes you need to, to make some adjustments like this. Have some pressure here. Let me show the idea. I can push it and make the sail thin. You can maybe have more speed when the wind is really strong. But now the wind is slow, so I need a belly in the main sail. Look at. Usually we think, oh, let's push it a lot. We need to have power. We adjust this way to have a belly here like you can see from this angle you have a draft here and you have power the wind can blow inflate it and goes away but we are heavy we need to have always always power this belly i can go more upwind i can't i i would like maybe to arrive faster but as a metal boat I can't do it I need to go a little more uh, broad of the upwind and goes if I go upwind I start to derivate more and I don't arrive I don't go fast I just derivate 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 turn the engine the entire sailing so we arrive at the later look at this color of this water it's amazing
Welcome to Prumirim Island, guys. The Brazilian coast is full of surprises and it is among the 20 largest coastal lines in the world. Here we have some options to travel by sea to other countries, but all these options involve long and challenging trips. The first option is to go to the south of Brazil to Uruguay. This option can be very challenging and few people do it because the waters are the most difficult to sail in Brazil, with a few options of sheltered anchors to avoid the winds. To get to Uruguay, you will need a good weather forecast with strong and continuous winds, preferable north winds. Arriving in Uruguay, whose coastal line can be also challenging to sail, you can continue your journey to Buenos Aires. There is a lot between Buenos Aires and the Strait. And finally, cross the Strait of Magellan to the Pacific Ocean. Quite an adventure, huh? Let's go to the second option. You can go to Africa, crossing the Atlantic Ocean, a crossing of 30 days or more from central Brazil. It is an interesting crossing, right? Now, what if you want to go to a nice place with a beautiful weather and a crossing that is a little more comfortable and predictable? We have the third option. You can head up the coastal line of Brazil from to Central America and the blue waters of the Caribbean. Yeah, you can reach the Caribbean island from Fernando de Noronha on a 15-day crossing or go along the coast of Brazil on a beautiful an exciting trip through the Amazon until you arrive in French Guiana. This is one of the most choosing routes by Brazilians. The Caribbean dream is right there and it was one of the routes we dreamed about going as well. We left in October of last year in 2021 for our accent along the coast of Brazil. We decided to go up very slowly and get to know our country. I can say that we knew a little about our country. Each place seems to have a new accent, a different custom, a unique culture and so many natural beauties to discover. We saw a little bit of everything and it is as if we were traveling through several small countries and now we are here in Ubatuba visiting some of the beautiful islands that we have. This choice is bringing us a lot of experience. Chikam is doing very well despite not being prepared to go to the Caribbean. She needs some refitting, improvements and equipment, like a water maker which converts salt water into fresh water, to have fresh water for a long cross in the sea, more solar panels to have energy enough, a good life raft that is really expensive, especially here in Brazil, so that we can arrive safely in the Caribbean. We are still half a way up the country, and it is a dream to see the other half, an incredible achievement that we hope to accomplish one day with your help. We want to apologize for the delays in posting videos, guys. We are focusing on projects and personal work since we do not have an income from YouTube or have a Patreon page. We love making videos and showing you how much we enjoy traveling and learning about the world around us. Unfortunately, there are moments where we have to save up money in order to get back to sailing and that takes time away from filming and editing videos. That being said, we have opened a Patreon page where we want to build a community of like-minded people. So, with your support, we will be able to post weekly videos and show you more of how we see the world. Guys, another way to help us is to like, subscribe and comment on our videos right here on YouTube. Your help means the world to us, truly. You will help us to grow and keep this production alive. It's a small act that makes a huge difference for us. And the best part about it, it is free. Oh, and we need your help for one more thing. Help us win the best emerging YouTube channel 2022. Hosted by the legends Elena and Riley from Sailing La Vagabond. All you gotta do is click on the link below, vote for us and confirm your vote in your email inbox. Thank you all for the support. We love you guys. See you in the next week. Bye!